things you're doing. Okay, so my name is Christina Estrada, and I'm going to be talking about bees. And how I got interested in this was in the summer I worked at the Botanical Gardens near where I live, and there was a bunch of bees, and I've never seen that many bees before, like, working around with them. And I got really interested when my boss was always, like, telling me the different types, and I didn't really realize that there was a bunch of different types. So that's why I'm interested in this. So my objectives for this is for you to be able to list the different, different factors in honey bee decline, explain what colony collapse disorder is, and um, question the claim that honey bees are the most important bee or even important to our um, crops at all, and recognizing the effects of the dying population. <coughs> so birds and the bees, an overview. Um, basically, what you need to know is that bees are very important for many aspects of life. They're um, responsible for 90% of the agronomic crops that are grown in the United States. And However, the population of bees are dying, and some reasons for that are colony collapse disorder, which I'll talk about later. And even though this is happening, there are movements by organizations such as Greenpeace, I don't know if you've heard of them, but they're trying to like reestablish the need for bees. So basically, between 750,000 and 1 million bees have estimated to have died between 2007 and 2008, which in my opinion is a lot. And while this is happening, the need for bees in the U.S. is also on an incline. So basically, when we need the bees, they're not there. And they're, it's been a decrease from 5 million to 2.5 million. And, um, one of the reasons for this is colony collapse disorder. And what this is, is when you go to um, when you find a beehive, all the bees are dead except for the immature bees, the honey, and the queen bee. And then these are some states that are reporting deaths of bees. There's a lot in California or Texas. There's a lot right around this area. And West Virginia has 52%, which is a lot. And then, so these are a bunch of dead bees. So, but when you um, come upon the hive, the hive pretty much looks like this. It's just larva and like nothing really there. <coughs> and reasons for this, Greenpeace believes that this is because of the um, increase in monoculture and um, basically that we're using too many pesticides and this is why they're dying. However, there's a bunch of research that this isn't the only cause, but that there's multiple causes. So some of these are pathogens, parasites, and pests. One of the viruses is called Varroa, and then there's mites called tracheal mites, and they basically just mess up the immune system of the bees and cause their death. Um, another problem is nutrition. Because of the lack of biodiversity in plants, because it's going on a decrease, there's, like not, as, there's not enough pollen for the bees to go out and find, especially since we're breeding out like a lot of the pollen producing things for especially flowers because we don't because there's a bunch of people allergic to pollen. Um, pesticides, there's a chemical called neonicotinides and this is like the main problem that people usually believe that is causing their deaths, but <coughs> some are speculating that it's not really the like main problem, but that it's just like the icing on the cake that like basically with all of these things makes them like die. And um also, the weather, because of the different influxes in weather, like it's getting really cold all the time and really hot in different times of the year, it's um, kind of messing up their, um, their migratory patterns. However, there's speculation that this isn't really a problem at all because in the UK, specifically, most plants are pollinated by native pollinators, and before, colony collapse disorder was even a thing. They were showing that honeybees aren't really important anyways in native plants. And there's actually, this is a really interesting chart. Um, I got it from the Food and Agriculture Organization and it's showing that the population of bees in general worldwide is actually on an incline. And that the decline is really only in the United States and some European countries. So I thought that was really interesting. How, there's also a bunch of um, competition with the natives, native pollinators. Um, bees 
like to pot like honeybees will since they're not from the area, they'll pollinate any invasive plant as well, so it's not really helping the environment anyways. And they also are able to um, transfer the pathogens from the from the honeybee to the native bees, so they're basically they're um, killing off the other bees as well. And the main point is that they're skewing public attention away from the other pollinators, so instead of um, researchers research being done on all native bees and like all pollinators is only being done on honeybees, which isn't helping the populations because all pollinators are important. Um, this it, information is important because like I said, it's 90% of agronomic crops is dependent on bees and it's responsible for about one third of the food we eat. Um, economically, there's a $14 million value on bees itself and along with the crops it increases their value to $15 billion in the U.S. So it's really important economically but also bio biologically because some plants such as almonds are completely dependent on being pollinated by honeybees which is a big impact in like economically also, as well and also the plant species they um, <coughs> sorry they pollinate all the native plants and the other crops that we have, and without bees, we won't have as much of a biodiversity because of the different like genetic things that we can have, as well as pollinating staple foods in developing countries. <coughs> so, why do you think it's important to know about this information? Talk to your partners. Oh, it makes you more aware. Those bees that um, kill cicadas. That kill cicadas. Mm -hmm. I hate cicadas. 